My name's John. Um, I work for O'Connell Transport out of Oberon. Oh, long story short, I was on a farm for a few years um, just out of Cessnock there and um, they sort of got hit by that drought you know, in the last year or the year before and um, they ran out of money and so I went and did a, a week-long course out of Central West Driver Training. Um, good course, great course, learnt heaps. Um, and then um, from there I, I went and worked for a, a parcel delivery company for almost a year just driving 14 pallet trucks and that and sort of getting a, my teeth in anyway and a foot in the door. And then I went back to Central West for my multi-combination ticket, so B double and road train licence. And um, they put me on another five day course and uh, one of the instructors there happened to know that this company I'm working for is looking for a, a good driver. And um, they reckon I was doing pretty good down there and passed pretty highly and here we are. Good training there, really, really good training. Like it was a five day course and it was just, it nailed everything. Like I, like I said here earlier, I've done a one day course before and it was just, no, nah, I wasn't even prepared to go and do a licence test because I was worried about hurting someone. And, I did the five days with Central West and, and we did the three days in the semi and, and then a couple of days in the B double as well. And came out of there and now I'm driving in and out of Sydney and the instructors I had were just brilliant. You know, they know how to work with people and, and spent the time to really put you in the situations where you're going to encounter out in the real road. Um, you know, big things like how to get a truck down a mountain without cooking the brakes and you know, how to make sure you're getting around corners without crushing pedestrians on the side of you and the usual good stuff that, you know, most people they see a truck and just take for granted, but that's what's going on in your head, you know, every minute that you're behind the wheel. You've got to be out of focus, that's all, and, and you know, be able to be comfortable just concentrating on what you're doing. And like, no matter what's going on, whether you've been delayed at a load on the side or you've got Christmas Eve traffic coming out of Sydney, um, whatever, you've got to, when something happens and that, you know, in front of you or around you or whatever, you sort of deal with it as it happens and then the moment that situation's over, you just forget about it. You've got to put it out of your mind and, right, hey, what's, what's the next step? Because if you dwell on anything, while you're busy worrying about that, something else is going to happen in front of you. I've got a couple of trades under my belt. Um, I've been in the army. Um, I've worked on farms, I've worked on banana farms, I've been a horse trail riding instructor, I've ridden dirt bikes up at Cape York, uh, all that sort of thing. And none of them pay well for a start. And, you know, driving semis and that, you're still going to make reasonable money. I love the fact that I don't have people looking over my shoulder at all. You know, it's sort of up to you how you run it, you know, and the only time you ever really call the boss is if there's an issue or you're not sure or something. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's a number of factors that go into a life change, we all know that, there's no magical silver bullet or anything, but, but it showed me for the first time in a lot of years that, you know, I still was able to learn anything I wanted to, um, and then to then get out and put it into practice and then take a follow through and go right through to the highest category of licence we can get, and then come out into these, it, yeah, it feels good, it feels real good, and it is a big turnaround. Um, you know, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination a rich man now or anything like that. But, you know, the car gets a flat tyre, I can fix it without worrying about it and I can pay my rent and, you know, do the stuff that you need to do. The normal stuff that most people, when they're really struggling for money and that tend to trip over their feet, I'm finding that, that that's just gone away now. You know what I mean? And that's, yeah, that helps a lot.